Yo, what's up, it's your boy Ike and Reese. And we got Cat Williams. He goes in again. We got another interview, man. I enjoy this guy's interview. No, for real. I ain't gonna lie, I like the way you be talking. You dropping knowledge and you dropping yep. jokes. Can't beat it. Yeah. All right, but if you want us to react to a little bit more Cat Williams interviews or some stand up, comment down below. Comment down below your favorite stand up from Cat Williams. And we're gonna try to go ahead and get a reaction out okay. of that. Okay. Always get to it. Sitting back waiting on a Messiah and waiting on that one person. And but they are too, though. Who's that? The other side is far more diligent about looking for that Messiah than we are. Because they know where to look. He said the evil side. That's the other side. That's what he meant. The evil side is looking just like how the good people looking for a Messiah, looking for Jesus to come back. Sure. The good people is. I mean, the bad people is too. But for what reason? To stop them. Oh. You probably at wonder why do white people pay so much attention to black people if they don't like them? You would think if you didn't <laughs> like something, why would you be paying attention to it? I don't pay attention to things I don't like. How you feel about that? I always said. <laughs> All right. For racist white people, man. Damn. If y'all don't like black people, why y'all always talking about them? Like, okay. I feel like if you in a predominantly suburban area with none of white people, yeah. how do you how do you run into niggas and hate <laughs> on them? Like, how you how you run into niggas? Oh I'm goodness. trying to figure out how do you run into niggas on your day to day basis, and you all the way over here and niggas all the way over there. I just don't figure. I just can't figure that out. So that's my thoughts on it. Okay, but what if there's some? I can't say it, obviously. <laughs> but in the suburban area, sometimes there are, you know. Those are civilized niggas. Those are they those ain't they ain't even niggas. I didn't know. They not even niggas. They black people. It's a okay. difference from black people and niggas. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a difference. Everybody know that. So I'm just trying to say, how do y'all run into niggas? <laughs> like how you wake Sorry. up in the morning and be like, man, these niggas like me. I can run into a nigga at the gas station at the red light. Y'all not know where to be in facility of some niggas. So I'm trying to figure out how y'all. I don't know. That's just, just come my across thought. some pretty. Yeah, much. like how you that mad about niggas that you don't really see like that? The answer is the liar knows what lie he told. You see what I'm saying? So even if I made it deceitful and I made you think that the answer is over here, but the answer is really over here. I'm still going to be looking over here. Me, the one that tricked, because I know this is the right answer. Okay. Black people have lost their identity, but our oppressors have not lost our identity. Mm. That's just why they chopped those noses off of the Pharaoh and the Sphinx in Egypt in the first place. Is because without this nose, we can tell you this is whoever it is. It can only be niggas. Why would somebody vandalize a whole face and only vandalize one part? Nobody wanted to knock an eye off or take an ear off or no chins missing. No, nope, just the nose. Because huh. it's a brand. All right, what was your question? So, like, okay, I don't want to come off as, like, ignorant or anything like that, but... If we're just talking about just the nose, right? Egypt is in Africa where it's mostly black people, technically, right? So what would what difference would it make if the nose was broken off? If you're in an area where it's predominantly black people, technically, with those facial features, you know? Because it's like, it's almost like... Is it, wait, we don't want to give them credit for this shit. So it's, it's kind of like, it's no tied way, to how, kings and queens, Yeah, it's tied to kings and queens. Okay. And they always digging up the Egyptian people. Okay, like mummies you know I mean? and stuff you're yeah. saying? Okay. Uh, and it's like a monument. It's like them, them pyramids. Like how, how, They still don't know how to who made the pyramids. Unless so, they do. Unless they do. Right, but right, I feel right, like yeah. it's kind of like they, like, oh, some aliens that did it. Or, no, they <laughs> didn't do it. It was some elephants that helped with doing it. You know what I mean? It's sure. just They don't want to give the right people they know sure, the credit. Sure. So it's like if they... Come on, you know. Yeah. I don't okay. know. I feel like they they really trying to make us believe that Africans ain't leave Africa until 
the white man came over there and brought them to the United States. Like oh. they never went nowhere. They just stayed in Africa until some white niggas on a boat came and was like, hey, come on, you wanna go on a Mickey Mouse cruise? Come on, niggas tricked the niggas <laughs> to get all the way to America and had them doing slave oh my work. God. And shit. So I feel he like said Mickey Mouse cruise. I feel like uh yeah. Niggas was already here. They yeah, Columbus yeah, yeah. thought he he said the Native Americans they looked like Indian, like black people. They thought he was they was black people. He literally said sure. it in his own in his journal. So Okay. You know, people, you know, they was already, I feel like they was already here. Yeah. In, in the United States. They sure. traveled everywhere. They went everywhere. Like it was a black samurai in China back in the day. So, I love I know, that one. You know? I love that story. So how you frame this. Okay. So um, we have a meeting with a hologram company, which is going to go into a licensing deal on some holograms. This is in Beverly Hills. Oh. So now there's a Rodeo, and behind that is an alleyway where you park your vehicles. Mm -hmm. That's where we are. Oh, yeah. Uh, Suge has brought his son with him, who's five years old. And before we go into this meeting, Shook's son runs behind the dumpster and urinates. Oh, I was going to say that. Films his penis out. Oh, who recorded? Behind the dumpster. Some some random lady. And then says, "Oh, I thought that was Cat's kid." What? So yeah, that's what happened. But why does that even change anything? So probably that's why the reason they went to jail that day or got arrested. So if it was Shook's, oh, you talking about oh, because he was with Shook. And right. it was Suge's kid, right? Right. So somebody said, oh, I thought that was his kid. What difference does that make? You right. I don't know. Okay. 20 years for that. And if it wasn't for the fact that this is Beverly Hills and it's all on camera, they had no problem sending us up the river when we couldn't have possibly done what was being said. That, that lady said that she got jumped on by me. So you see what you just did? You just I feel like he did jump on it. Like, uh, <laughs> Why? Oh, shit, somebody recording your kid. Oh, yeah. oh, well, true, I guess. Yeah, but remember, it went to court. Yeah. Like, this isn't just my word. This, yeah. They had to play the video in court, which showed that her altercation wasn't with a man at all. But the trip part about it is that when people print the media. I know. I think the world want to know what happened between you and Alisa D. Who's that? I know you said the you world could about possibly want to know that know, he's man. not famous yeah. enough for the world to know. want to know that. <laughs> <It's like Yeah. laughs> because my side of the world doesn't want to know that. See, <laughs> my side of the world. Here, here's the thing: sure that your story is correct, and unfortunately, his story is not correct. No matter what he says, he never met me. He made it disrespectful that a security guard that was six foot seven reached over him to pay him. Not, uh, not mentioning the fact that he got paid for not doing anything. Well, let's start, let's start at the beginning of the Reliant thing. Uh, I don't know the, I'm going to you know start I mean? and then you can do what you want to do. Fair enough. But I think for, for the sake of the audience knowing what just Tell them who idea Ali of what is. we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. To get the entitlement to be having this question. This is like me insisting that the Lakers put me on as a starter. And I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> In our league. And that's before I knew who you were. Now that I know who you are, I'm just ashamed. Because you took something personal that couldn't have been personal. I didn't meet you. That's... So he got the check of the performer. This is what he's angry about. Imagine the audacity. Remember, your story is that I'm kicking you the fuck out. Get out and lock arms and don't let him in. Mm -hmm. And paying you. That makes sense to me. <laughs> Either you're smaller than I think or I'm bigger. Either one. Like, you can't keep positioning the narrative. Because that's all this is. This is so that in a conversation in America, there'll be something where he and I are evenly linked. And only people in his hometown are floating that narrative. Clause number one. I agree. Facts. Number two. Yeah. Ricky Smiley was finna play a pimp. <laughs> really? 
I love Ricky how Smiley he's doing has played a woman more times than Ricky Smiley has played a man. Dude. He's played Bernice Jenkins five times. I got it in my contract that I don't work with Ricky Smiley unless he's playing Miss Bernice Jenkins. Damn. Get out of here. But that's in your contract for real. I make my contract, no, sir. Oh, you when know. you're the master of your masters, everything else is subservient. I got to take notes. I that's really got to take notes. Control. That's why we're hated because there's something to hate. But anyway, so Money Mike, this is my first audition. Not just my first movie. It's my first audition. Um, the reason it was so great is because they allowed me to do what I wanted to do and I needed to do things. So I needed to pick the wardrobe for the character. So Money Mike's wardrobe was impeccable because I designed it and they made it so. Wow. Me and KD are very You made me want to watch uh, Friday at the Dick Cruise. Mm-hmm. It that was, was one of all my of our too. first project, and my job was to make sure that we came off as if we were seasoned actors. And so I put everything I had into that movie to the point where, in the script, Money Mike is raped in the bathroom. Cat Williams changed that. Ice Cube said Why? it because was nothing. No way. Yeah, it had nothing. Ice Cube said that it was no rape scene in there. He said he wouldn't even produce nothing like that. So then who's lying? I don't know. What do you mean, Kat? <laughs> There's no way. Are y'all going to believe Ice Cube or... Uh... I'm saying in a but he did say, he did, he did say Cat Williams had a lot of play into his yeah, heart, his like, yeah. in his character. But he said it wasn't a rape. It wasn't no, no, no saying like that in his... But he's just trying to... Well, okay, I don't want to... It might have, because you know... Ice Cube don't own the rights to it, so it probably was something yeah. like that. I'm not rapable. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. <laughs> that's what will happen. And so that's how it changed and became a great uh, movie. And just the thought process that maybe Ricky Smiley was going to do that it is laughable. But yeah, that was, that was going to be my only movie. So I had to do everything Shit, that I could do to make sure that it went the way I needed it to. And I... I've done that in every uh, one of the 60 movie roles that I've done in the 50 network television roles. All right, so we're going to end it off right here. If y'all want us to go ahead and react to the rest of this interview, comment down below. Mm -hmm. Comment down below some parts you believe we need to check out in this interview. And we will go ahead and do that. Check out our old, well, not our old, our last Cat Williams uh, interview reaction. Go ahead, check that out. And uh, more videos coming soon.